In this session we are going through running FortiGate in NAT route mode and basically doing a topic wrap up. So we've seen that in this configuration that we have just finished the FortiGate is installed as a gateway or router between a private network and the, the internet. And by using NAT the FortiGate is able to hide the IP addresses of the private network. Let's take a look again at the diagram. So this is the diagram we have, we have worked on. So we have the FortiGate in the middle. It sits between internet connection, internet border and the, the LAN, the LAN segment, the internal network. So it receives packets after providing uh, DHCP services or maybe you have static connectivity, static IP connectivity, it doesn't matter. It receives the packets, then it translates the source IP address, so that would be 192.168.1.0 packet from the test PC, this is the source address, and it will translate this address to 172.27.2.155 and sending the packet outbound. So this is basically running the FortiGate firewall in NAT or route mode. Let's take a look again at the web interface, do some, uh, some small changes, configuration, apply them, and then we'll move to the next session. So we're back to GUI, the graphical user interface. Let's log in, the username password, it's admin for both. Yeah, it took a little longer this time. But anyway, we have, we have logged in, into, the, into the console, the, the web console. Let's take a look, for example, to network and interfaces. One thing that we haven't done so far, it's putting some labels that will also add functionality. We'll talk about it later or in, uh, or in a more advanced course, we'll see. So the role, being the, the WAN interface, First of all, we see that it's manual, so it's static, the IP address is uh, configured static. It has to have a role. Now it's undefined, so we will just put it as one WAN interface connection. An estimated bandwidth, so used to estimate WAN utilization. Let's say we have uh, one gig, so this is one meg and one gig for upstream and the same for downstream. It's WAN, it's physical interface, it's up, the status of course it's enabled and we'll just hit OK. Moving to the second interface, the LAN interface, port 2. Obviously we'll have to, to change the role from undefined to something that makes sense. And this is LAN. We have configured LAN. We can also put an alias, so, so kind of a, of a label, but that's, uh, that's not really necessary. To do a recap, we have configured DHCP server, we have the starting IP and the end IP, this will be the IP pool that's available. Default gateway, same interface, what does this uh, have to do with our configuration? Well, when the DHCP, DHCP packet uh, comes, arrives, it will have to provide several things to, to, to the requesting uh, PC. And this is the IP address, the gateway, and also D DNS service services. And this de default gateway means that it will be provided, the default gateway will be its IP address. And this is 1.1. The same for the DNS. And hit OK. Something else to note down is the DNS service. So the DNS service is by default when firing up, when starting up working with any FortiGate firewall, it has by default the FortiGuard servers. If this doesn't make any sense to you or you want to use different ones for whatever reason, you can just, you can just click specify and configure your own with your own, I don't know, working uh, DNS servers from your own environment, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make any sense for me to change them, so I leave them by default. I just wanted to, to make a note of them. Next, I want to show you is the static routes. So we have connectivity because we have set 
we have a default route and the gateway our default gateway is the internet service provider the ISP and the interface is port 1 you can also obviously create new routes add new routes more specific routes so not default one maybe towards another another interface uh, different from the ISP one the WAN interface last thing and we will close this session is the policy IPv4 policy this is where we have configured the policy and now we can see that our first policy or oh, not the, the implicit one that denies traffic the net internal one if we go and edit this this policy so port 2 has changed now and we also see that we have role available it's a LAN interface and port 1 it's uh, it's when so everything is fine it's fine it's functional last thing to note is how do we see that things are are working we have seen them working but how do we see sessions being established we go into 40 view go into all sessions click on now we have to we have to do some http traffic to load some traffic so that it can be analyzed the network is functioning and now we are looking after traffic being hit here and yes we have some we have traffic being logged this is obviously the, the Google DNS we have used it so far several times and other traffic that has been logged here this is the policy the net internal land policy we can see application bytes and the very important source source interface destination destination interface and so on so hopefully this is uh, this is useful information to you this information can become useful in any moment that you want to troubleshoot something you maybe you're having packets that are that are not uh, making it through maybe you're having packets that are dropped and this is a way to see how is the session logged is, does it hit any policy which policy does it hit and, and it really makes sense to get used to to taking a look at the at the 40 view and all sessions tab